Okay, folks, uh, still on the record, the link will be in the description, right? We've all heard about the shooting that took place in Bear's Den earlier this morning. Um, everybody's wondering who he is. Well, his name's Gary Chambers. He's a prison officer. Um, it says here, the victim of Bear's Den shooting is a prison officer who was shot at as he left for work. This is by Keith McLeod, I think it is. Yeah, Keith McLeod. And there he's there. So, I wonder what he's done to warrant somebody trying to pop him at his door. Somebody's no very good, obviously. Because they ran away. A prison officer was shot at in a murder bid as he left his home to go to work early in the morning. Gary Chambers, 38, was targeted by a hitman. Oh, really a hitman. On the driveway of his home in an upmarket Glasgow suburb, Bears Den, ran up drive in Bears Den. The shot narrowly missed the stepdad of three but left a smashed window next to the door of his semi-detached home. Maybe the guy didn't want to shoot him. It stopped the three teenagers and Mr Chambers' wife and Debbie, Debbie also 38, were in the house at the time. There he's there. What have you been up to, Gary? The gunman who blasted a shotgun at the prison. It was a shotgun. <laughs> Jesus. And he missed him. Uh, the attack happened at 5.30. He must have meant to miss him then. Police cordoned off much of the north part of the street in the affluent neighbourhood whilst forensic teams wearing white overalls. I don't know what they were. One resident said, Welcome to Leafy Bear's Den. He'll not be part of Louise neighbours. They want rid of him. They don't go for that kind of shit in Bear's Den. This is horrendous. Uh, they want rid of you now, Gary. You'll need to move. The shame... The shame. Your wife will be like that. They'll just turn their nose right up at her. They'll call it that. Oh, that's that's terrible. But they'll be like that. Well, they'll need to move. <laughs> that's what that's what I like bears then. Here he's there with his black tie. He's a prison officer as well. Oh, thinks he's a director of a company. You're a screw mate in Berlin. He came, into, he came into my garden still in his pyjamas asking if I knew what was going on. <laughs> I had to tell him I hadn't even heard the shot. Another neighbour told me he had heard the shot and it was unmistakably a shotgun blast. Mm, there's somebody with maybe a, an FAC. It's not the kind of thing you want to hear in a street like this where there are a lot of children. There they are. There's a the boys in blue. You don't want them at your door. No, I like that plant there. I like that plant. But, uh, uh, I like the plant and I like the, the what do you call it, pot it's in. I think I might get one of them from my front door. <laughs> they say the car involved may have been a silver or grey Skoda. <laughs> Maybe, it was a, maybe he's no paid his taxi fare. <laughs> Dirty screw. Yeah, they're there. A spokesman for HMP, Adebel said, Her Majesty's President Adebel said, We can confirm that there was an incident involving one of our employees this morning, which is now under police investigation, and so we are unable to comment further at present. What's going on here? It is thought Debbie's children from a previous marriage, blah blah blah. The scene of the attempted hit is not far from Killermont Primary School and Nursery, right? Mr Chambers works at Adebel Jail near Livingston, run by the private firm Sodexo Justice Services. <laughs> That'll be American. The high security facility is said to be the scene of a power struggle involving the notorious Robert Birdman O'Hara. Oh dear. It is reported he has been in segregation of a claim he threatened another inmate. He was jailed in 2005 over the murder of rival Paul McDowell. The 25 year old was stabbed to death 200 yards from his home in Possel. Um, McDowell was attacked by two men and one of the killers was in phone contact with O'Hara while carrying out the fatal street assault. 
The gangster was also found guilty of firearms offences and trafficking heroin. Police recovered a Mac M11, Holy Toledo, and a son of shotgun. A spokesman for HMP Arable said, "We are. We can confirm. I read that. We can, we will support our employee and his family in any way we can." So that's a strange one, isn't it? What's he been up to? He been a bad boy. Has he been throwing his weight about? Has he been putting somebody's arm up their back? You know how they're all trained to do that? Just flip your wrist, just like the mob. Uh, who knows? It's a mystery. It'll come out though. But the spotlight's on you now, Gary. The mob will be looking at you, trying to figure out what's happening. They'll not believe yours. See, when you tell them you don't, I don't know why. <laughs> They'll not believe that. So you're now getting watched. <laughs> so is your wife. And your reins will be getting followed by the police. <laughs> Holy Toledo. Oh well. You deserve it, Gary. I don't. I don't care because you weren't in the jail. You deserve it, right? Okay. If you like the content, hit the like button. Peace out.